my god! Oh my god, Jack, that's a big one! Get him, get him in the head! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Life by the Bow. My name is Clay. This is our home here in the Florida Keys, and the reason why I'm reintroducing everything is just because the channel has been doing really, really well lately. And I wanna thank you guys for that, but for all the new people that are potentially watching, just wanted to let you guys know a little bit about us. My wife, Stephanie, she's getting ready upstairs right now, but we have Zach behind the camera, and what we're gonna do is while we're waiting on her, we're gonna go out, we're gonna catch some bait. It's fall in the Florida Keys. So this time of year, the bait is so abundant. And we just got back from Crystal River. The weather is just beautiful. We're gonna catch some bait. We're gonna do some relaxing, kind of just float around in the water, bring you guys along, vlog. And then we're gonna do some sunset tuna fishing just so we can get some fresh dinner for the night. And we're really just showing you guys the lifestyle that we live down here in the Florida Keys. For all of you that are new, Thank you so much for joining us and for all of you guys that have been here since the very beginning. We appreciate that continued support. Hit the like button. Let us know what you think down below in the comments, but we're gonna go and get after it. We might run into a little bit of trouble, but I think we'll be okay. Get questions all the time about bait, Florida Keys, a lot of people typically always have issues finding them, but this time of year in the fall, bait is everywhere. You can typically catch them in the basins, around all the major channels, in deep troughs, around the islands, which is where we're going right now. Some people actually chum them up on the grass flats, but it's really cool. We've been doing a lot of videos in the bay boat lately, and we've just been doing some wild things, but it's simple. And that's one of the biggest things when we come out here fishing, is just simplicity. Make your life simple. Literally have four rods, bucktails, a couple plugs, just in case we see some mahi on artificials, pack of circle hooks, 30 pound leader, cast net, and that is literally everything that is loaded on this boat here today. So you guys are gonna see how we get it done, real simple for the simple life. You know, they say all good things come with a sacrifice. Our sacrifice is that storm, maybe getting a little wet. And the good thing is hopefully some bait. I'm hoping that this storm kind of just stays off to the north so we don't have to worry about it. But at the same exact time, I'm seeing the pelican cruising right there. And that's typically a really good sign of bait. What we got going on here is there's a grass flat we have mangroves, that pelican just dived right there. So that tells me that we have the perfect recipe for finding bait. The tide is low right now. So what happens when the tide is low, these fish or bait fish, they'll move off the grass flats into these deeper troughs around these islands. And that is a really, really great way to find the bait. On the high tide, they'll kind of scatter, get up on top of the grass flat, and it makes it a little more difficult to find them. So. I always love bait fishing on a low tide. And being in a super skinny boat like this Pathfinder here definitely helps out a lot. Okay, I already got my live well. Nice open, ready to go. All right, I'll take it. Had to grab a floaty, you know? Grab a floaty? Uh-huh. One of the benefits of living in the Florida Keys is when you get done with work, you have an awesome husband that catches bait for you and takes you out on the boat. If yeah, you're lucky. Yeah, you hop on the boat. If you're Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what are we gonna do though with the bait? Let's go, well first things first, supposedly the Sunset Tuna Bite. 
has been really good. Bait's gonna chill out, get nice and healthy in the live well, and we're gonna head out to some clear water, make some lunch, mm -hmm. just do Florida Keys boat things. And then once the sun starts to just sink a little bit, we're gonna head offshore to a wreck, see if we can catch some tuna for dinner. Yes, ma'am. You ready to get in? I am ready to get in. But something I would like to note, what's so cool about September here in the Keys, all the kids are back in school, all the parents are back into their groove and everything. And as you can see, there's only one other boat right here. A lot of the charter captains, they start taking time off. You go out fishing, there's not as many people fishing. And we just have the entire ocean, it feels like to ourself. This is amazing. And now that everyone just heard we have it to ourselves, they're all gonna come over here. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys have been following us for a long time, we've been here a couple times. The reason why, just gotta look at it. it speaks for itself, man. I mean, it's just so easy, so accessible. And when you have a calm day like today, Perfect. Stephanie's having a good old time. Nice and crystal clear. I'm sure the pilchards love it. Got some nice clean water. I'm gonna make some sandwiches and just chill for a little while. Once that sun starts to sink, it's tuna time. This is so nice. It feels great, it looks great, and it is great. It sometimes looks can be deceiving, but I'll tell you, my friends, this is the place you'll want to be. Zach walked the plank. Stephanie's eating tonight. Who's got who? He's got me. You got him or he's got you? Good he's job, sick. Stephanie. You! Oh, oh, that's a nice one. That's a flipper. You don't need no gaff. Hold on, I'll grab his tail for you. Right there. Or you got him. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Look at that. We're gonna go ahead and drain them, AKA bleed them. Cool. Woohoo! Good job, Stephanie. <laughs> oh, that could have been bad. All right, I'm gonna throw them in the box. All right. All right. There's a big one that jumped out. We're gonna I see know, if we can I get saw him. that in the background. Oh. That's what a tuna looks like. Those long marks, those are all schools of tuna. So here we go. This is going to be the drift that Clay catches his fish. It's going to happen now, Clay. I have faith. 
God's whispering in my ear, telling me everything I want to hear. He's saying, Clay gonna catch a fish, and it's gonna be bigger than yours. Who, you? Yeah. He told you're me gonna your You're gonna catch fish a bigger is... fish than me? No, you're gonna catch a bigger fish than well, me. I was gonna say, me. I gotta catch a fish before that happens. Go ahead, I have faith in you. Do it. You have faith you in me? You can do it, put a little muscle to it. Come on, Clay. It's pretty safe to say that Stephanie was a cheerleader growing up. I got him. Come on, baby. I told you you were going to get it, and I'm on. I'm on, too. Oh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. We got what we came for, so toss him back out, Stephanie. Might get I think they just one. killed him. No, he was picked up, oh. but they let him go. They let him go? Yeah. He spit him. Come on, Clay. Living off the land. I love it, man. Oh, Get yeah. It. You want me to oh, flip him? Oh, yeah. Huh? You want me to flip him? Look at him in the sun. That's just beautiful. So no get monsters. Woohoo! These go. are basically marlin baits, but I'll tell you what, they taste good. Oh, they do. Yeah. Oh, look at him bleeding. You got him good. That's right. I got those nails. Mm hmm. Did he swallow that hook? A lot of the times what you can do is you can just take your hand, do a wrap, if he's gut hooked. Yep, we got it back. Nice, all right. Good job, Clay. Thank you. We got one more drift left. It's Zach's time to shine. Yes, sir. There you go. Woo! Yeah, boy. Good job. Don't put too much pressure on him. Let him go when he wants a fight. We're fly, fighting them on really light tackle. Come how's on. How's it feel, Zach? Tell us, how's it feel? Feels good. Feels good? Just the Crystal River. All the energy's a little bit depleted. Mm-hmm. Gives you a little bit of light. There he is! <gasps> Hurry up! Oh, Back shark's up. on him! Go, 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 go! Go! Oh, oh my God! God. Get a gap! Get over here! Get a gap! Get right here! I thought that, that was, was a shark, shark too! <laughs> That's like the laziest black fin I've ever seen. Oh my God. Zach, follow him up to the bow if you have to. Follow him up. He's oh a big my one. God. Oh my God, Zach. That's a big one. Get him. Get him in the head. Get him in the head. What? Are you joking? Dude. Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> Bro. What? That thing was so lazy. <gasps> that oh is like one God. of the biggest and laziest black fins I think I've ever Dude, seen way before. To kill it. Woo! Oh my God. Look at this. This is Look this is little baby. Difference. This is big mama right here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good job, Zach. That thing Dude. is a monster. Oh wow. Let's Holy put him on ice. Moly. That's like a record black fin right there. What a beast of a tuna. That's my second black fin ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad second right there, dude. Hey, thanks to Clay and Stephanie Tower. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Of course, man. Hey, hard work pays off. A premium shirt for a premium price. Reason why? Stain resistant material. The key is to hit the stains while they're wet though. If you let them dry out, you're gonna have problems getting them out. All right, it's dinner time. Woohoo! You know who we gotta give tuna to? Who? Dominic. Yeah, he loves tuna. That boy eats that raw. My little brother, he comes over. It's the only over, way to eat it. And he just, he can eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He loves it so much. You know what they say? The best fish is in Ziploc bags. <laughs> what? No, someone told me one day, they go, you know what the best fish is? The ones that come in Ziploc bags because you don't have to do all the work to get them. <laughs> Sounds like somebody that doesn't like the fish. <laughs> right? Or spend the money on gas or fishing. Yeah, but you want to know something? We burned so far today. Let's see. Look at our Yamaha gauge. We burned 12 gallons of fuel. I say that's worth it. One thing that's guaranteed is a good time.
just look at all these little tiny tails. And then you just have Zach's behemoth blackfin right there. Oh my gosh, man. Here we go. What's really cool about having such a big tuna here is I'm gonna teach you guys how to fillet a bigger fish. Got the nine inch flex fillet knife here. And basically we're gonna start by going right down the center of that fish, right? Then we're gonna come up here, work around his pec fin, his head. And then we're gonna start running our knife back right along that backbone. This thing has so much meat on him. So we're gonna turn the knife around, come up this way. Gotta kinda work around that tough spot. And now that we have this whole first section outlined, what we're gonna do is just start running the knife down his backbone. That's the gaff shot right there. Where that meat's real red. Just like that. So that's the first section of meat right there. Now we're gonna go for the second section here. Basically we're gonna come through the top here. And just start working right underneath the meat. Removing it from the backbone. And that's how you do it right there. So this is one of the more difficult parts here, removing the skin. But the fact that we got it all sectioned up, should be pretty easy with our bigger fillet knife here. It's gonna get right between the meat and the skin. And that's it right there. On to a new day. As you guys saw last night, it was so late. By the time we ended up getting done and cleaning up the boat, we were just so exhausted. We just ate something quick. But we're moving on to day two. And we're still gonna be cooking up some tuna. And I'm really excited because we haven't eaten all day. But if you guys hear what we got going on right now, this is actually called the Sound Core. And they sent us this and it's really, really cool. I mean, it's got 80 watts of power, so it definitely bumps pretty good. As you can see, there's two tweeters here, and it's really, really bassy. And the reason why we brought this along today is just because I wanted to show this to some of the people that may be on a budget when it comes to, I guess you could say, outfitting their boat with music. This stereo on this Pathfinder, thousands of dollars. This little thing right here, under $200. The best part is, Super lightweight, you can use it for camping. I already know that's what we're going to be doing with it for sure. And if you don't want to run down your battery by running your stereo all day at the sandbar, this is also a great alternative. And here's the best part. <laughs> it's waterproof. We got the people say Tell me what you're cooking, good looking. Well, thank you for that, but I actually kind of pre-made this sauce at home. Um, so what I did is I put a bunch of ingredients in here, but I'm gonna add this recipe in the description below because it's just too much to go over and it's hard to follow. And then what I did here is I chopped up some avocado and I layered this little Tupperware with it and some green onions and some sesame oil. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna chop up the tuna, put it in this mixture, mix it up, 
and then lay it on top of the avocado. And then we're gonna use some Tostito scoops. These are the best. Riley even loves these. And we are going to enjoy it as a dip. When you dip, I dip, we dip. Hey! <laughs> All right, this. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Good. Good job, Stephanie. Yep. It's a labor sure. of love. Definitely a labor of love. Thanks to Zach for catching the big one. Uh huh. Definitely a team effort, but I want to thank you guys so much once again for watching. If you guys want to get your hands on a sound core, the link will be down in the video description below. I'm loving it so far. It's been really, really cool. I think the biggest thing is, is that it's waterproof. So if you guys are boaters or you just love the ocean just like us, I don't see why you guys wouldn't like one of those things. But till next week, see you guys then. There you go, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys.